John was well aware of his own identity and his own mission. He was not disappointed. Often we become discouraged and disappointed because we are not sure about our own mission. Good morning, family and friends. Today's gospel, we see that Jesus spoke about John the Baptist. Jesus said, among those born of women, there has been none greater than the John the Baptist. What a great honor to a person given by Jesus. John the Baptist, he was sure of his own identity, his own mission. People asked him, who are you? Are you the Messiah? Or are you the prophet that we are waiting for? And John the Baptist said, I am not the prophet. I am not the Messiah. I am just only a voice. A voice crying out in the wilderness. John could have easily said, well, I am the prophet or the Messiah and people would have believed in him. He did not. He said, I am not worthy to untie his sandal strap. What a humility. And that's why Jesus honored John the Baptist, the highest reputation and honor. And John the Baptist is a life, it's a humble life. He trained his own disciples to be the followers of someone else. And Jesus himself referred to John the Baptist as the lamp. Lamp just shines and guides others. And John himself said, I am only a, a voice. Voice also cry out and, and direct others to someone else. When John saw Jesus approaching him, he said, Here is the Lamb of God. And he encouraged his disciples to follow Jesus. What a thankless job. All those hard work, training his own disciples, finally giving them and encouraging them to follow somebody else. Taking that bike pew. We don't see so many people these days like this, yeah? Because John was well aware of his own identity and his own mission, he was not disappointed. Often we become discouraged and disappointed because we are not sure about our own mission. Our mission is also same like John the Baptist. Witness, give testimony to Jesus. That's our duty. Let us have the courage like John the Baptist to follow his mission, showing Jesus to others. May God bless us. Amen.